documenting MS flare-ups and your ERISA disability insurance claims. MS flare-ups are unpredictable and they can be painful, particularly if you're having constant neuropathy in your hands or your feet, or it can be embarrassing if you're having exacerbations that affect your bowel or bladder. Now, some medical studies suggest that those who have five or more relapses in the first one or two years of their disease have a higher risk that their disease will progress in the next five to 10 years. And on the, uh, you need to understand that if you have fewer relapses, you can move into the progressive phase within 15 to 20 years after the initial phase. So regardless of the progression, I think it's important that you document your symptoms and how those symptoms impact your ability to function. Studies show that as you continue to have exacerbations in the same body system, you'll have a higher progression in that particular area. So for example, you might have visual symptoms and your exacerbations are primarily optic in nature. You most likely are going to have a progression in those areas as opposed to the motor system or the urological system. It's crucial that we're showing documentation of these exacerbations but, and documentations of all the symptoms but we also need to talk about the frequency and duration of the symptoms, the frequency and the nature of the exacerbations and the remissions and the relapses because we need to document this on a continuum. Well, what's a relapse? I will tell you, disability carriers don't understand MS, much less what a relapse is. I know that each MS sufferer has their own types of relapses with their own types of symptoms. So a relapse might present in the following way. You might have new symptoms. You might have a worsening of existing symptoms. Um, you might also have a situation where these relapses are becoming more uh, frequent. And if the re relapse is not caused by a fever or an infection, it's probably going to be labeled by your doctor as a relapse. I want you to give a detailed history to your physician. And I want you to remember that the relapsing systems, symptoms can last for a few days or several weeks. Document those symptoms, how those symptoms have changed, how those symptoms impact your ability to function. And the key here is to document what your relapse is like, how it's different for you, the length of the relapse, the symptoms you're having during the relapse, and the time between the relapse. I want the carrier to look at you as an individual with MS and not use a cookie cutter approach to evaluating your claim. Well, how do we go about documenting uh, things? Well, obviously it's a diary, but that diary should also include your response to treatment. Your physician's gonna tailor your flare-up treatment to your specific symptoms. The standard treatment for a relapse starts within three to seven days, and generally it's an intravenous or oral high-dose steroid that will control the relapse inflammation. But the more severe the symptoms, the longer the treatment. Now we know that steroids can cause gastric issues and other disabling side effects like insomnia, blurred vision, restlessness, food sugar increases, or mood swings. You should document that, the treatment and the impact of the treatment. Now the treatment can also include IVIG therapy or ACTH injections, which have their own set of side effects. I want you to document that. Remember, you're required by the terms of your policy or plan to be under the active treatment of a specialist and be compliant with the treatment plan. I promise you the disability carrier is going to cherry pick and even criticize your treatment plan, your compliance with the treatment plan, and even suggest that your non-responsiveness to treatment is due to the wrong treatment plan, as if they went to medical school. If the disability carrier doesn't appreciate your unique relapses or questions your treatment, it's time to consider hiring an experienced MS disability attorney such as myself. I think you're in line for a claim denial or termination when you see those kinds of things. Remember, the carrier is not in the business of paying MS claims and they love to deny relapsing and remitting MS claims because they think that you can work during a remission. Don't let that happen to you. Call me today at 727-894-3188. I can help you in your flared up multiple sclerosis claim. I know firsthand the fight with a disability carrier. Not only do I represent people just like you, but more importantly, my dad became disabled when I was growing up and I saw him fight with a disability carrier. I can help you regardless of where you live in the United States. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.